Hey everyone, this is going to be another third party reading. Um, I will be posting other readings on this channel in the near future. Like I'm going to get into some love readings, some financial readings, maybe some uh, psychic empowerment readings, just whatever comes up. I do want to mix it up as always. Only take this if it resonates. I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so don't try to force it to fit if it's not your story. But if you're in that energy group that I was channeling last night, those uh, the two third party readings that I did last night, then this is for you. I do want to say you, you might need to do some protection on yourself right now, some protection rituals, some whether it's prayer, meditation, visualization, um, actual spell work just to protect yourself and protect your person because I feel like protection is really needed right now because I feel like these third parties, these karmics are pissed. They are pissed because I feel like for this energy group, it's like your person is pulling away from them. And it's really strange because with these karmics, I get like a really strange energy of like narcissism, but it's almost like a pouty narcissism, like an entitled kind of narcissism. Um, like it's, it's like a weird mix of insecurity and narcissism. I don't know if that even makes sense. But I guess it kind of does make sense because I feel like a lot of insecure people, it's almost like they create this fake personality to hide their insecurities. Like they're not genuine. They're not authentic. They're not honest about who they are um because it's like these karmics are like they're very insecure but they're very narcissistic at the same time but it's it's like this I'm getting like this kind of entitled pouty um type of energy from them like uh like they try to use their appearance or they try to use sex to get what they want is basically what I'm feeling here they also don't like taking accountability, so I almost feel like it's like your person's pulling away from them, and I feel like they're blaming every single person for it but themselves. I feel like they're like, they're like, I bet you, I bet you're, you know, you're going to be with that girl, you're going to be with that girl, you're going to be, you're, you're pulling away because this person said this to you, or this person's talking shit, I know it, like, it's like, that's like the energy I'm feeling. Like they're, they're not looking in the mirror. Like they're blaming every single person for the fact that your person's pulling away. Um, they're blaming every single person except for themselves. Like they're, they're not wanting to acknowledge that they're batshit crazy. Um, that they created these issues. They created this tension. They were unwilling to look in the mirror and, and heal those parts of themselves and, and really just take accountability. Um, so now they're pissed off and they're trying to blame other people for this. They're trying to blame other people for the separation or they're in their head and they're thinking about it. They're like, oh, I bet this person talks shit about me. And I bet that's why my person's pulling away and being distant and not, not being as affectionate with me lately. I bet it's because this person talks shit or I bet it's because of this other girl he likes. And it's like, it's like, I think your person is like, dude, like, yeah, there might be somebody else, but like, it's, it's you, like you're, you're the problem here. Like you, your behavior, your actions, your, your insecurities and your unwillingness to work on those insecurities. That is the issue here. Um, I just feel like she's pouty. I keep getting like a pouty, like maybe like for some, it's like, there's like this face that she makes. Um, but it's like with her lips specifically, I'm, I'm seeing the lips. It's like, a. It, it's like, a. I don't know. It's like really intense though. It's not like a subtle gesture. It's like a very intense face that she makes. And I feel like she thinks it's super cute. And I feel like your person finds it annoying. <laughs> that's, that's for someone. That's not for everyone, but that's for a few of you. Um, like, I just, I, she's not really as cute as, as she thinks that she is, I guess I should say. But anyway, I want to get into the main message here because I'm, I'm getting something that this man, this man needs this warning because he has, um, I keep hearing legacy. Like he has a legacy. I keep channeling that there's something that he's meant for. And it's something he doesn't even know. Like he has a sense of it. Like he has some sense of it. He might've gotten these creative ideas in the past, but he doesn't understand how big this is. Like, this is going to span, like, this is going to go down like generations. Um, even if he doesn't have kids or doesn't want kids or, or if you guys don't want kids together, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's like he, maybe he'll like, maybe his friends or, or other family members, like a, like a brother or sister will inherit it or something. It's just one of those things that's going to make on an, an impact on society, but it's going to be for, 
for decades and decades, maybe even centuries. Like this could be something that just, it, it's something really big. It's something that he kind of feels, but he doesn't, it's like, I think he's channeled it and I think he's felt that energy, but maybe he thinks he's just being a dreamer or it's just wishful thinking. I'm hearing that, um, uh, I don't know why I'm forgetting his name. It's the guy from Panic at the Disco. Why am I forgetting his name? But that song, High High Hopes for a Living, that that song, I'm hearing that song right now. Um, so it's like this man is like manifesting these things and he's picking up on these things telepathically, but he doesn't fully believe in it or he thinks it's too good to be true or he thinks it's, there's just something about a legacy. And I feel like this man really really needs to use discernment. He really needs to develop and use his intuition here. I'm getting a very strong warning. But there are people around him. And not to say that he's not genuinely loved. Like, I do think there are people around him that do genuinely love him. But I think that there's also been people in his life currently and also in the past. Um, and for someone I'm getting like a year or two ago, there was someone specific like a while back. But I'm just getting this energy of uh, people that are, are they're, so they're not consciously aware of this, of this, I don't think. But I feel like they have some intuitive knowing or their souls are aware of it. I feel like this man is just, his legacy, his status, there's something he's going to be doing that's really big. It's very important. And so I feel like there are these very low vibrational kind of karmic energies that um these karmic women that want to come in and they want to take that from him they either want the, so this man might, might not be wealthy right now but he's meant to be wealthy like within the next five six years i see this man having a lot of money um and so it's like one of those energies where it's like this person could be meant to maybe be a millionaire maybe not quite a millionaire but they're just going to have a, a large sum of money coming in um, or they're going to have some kind of status, like it could be someone that's meant to be in the public eye. There, There's something really important. We're going to get more into it, but there's something really important, really big that this person is meant to do. They have a very important destiny. And I feel like they might have been aware of this destiny as a child, too. Like they might have felt like they had some sort of bigger calling. But I think as they got older, maybe they, they, they kept believing in it to a degree, but maybe they told themselves like, oh, everyone wants that or... Or it's like they don't see their worth. They don't fully see their value. They don't fully see what they're capable of. of. So, and this person is a very powerful manifester. But anyway, um, thank you guys for bearing with me because when I channel too, sometimes like the information just comes through and I know I need to learn to sort it better and not just be all over the place with it. But it's like channeling is a weird process. Like all the information just like flows through and I'm like trying to get it all out there and I'm like, eh. Anyway, um, yeah, this man's legacy. I just keep hearing his legacy. So there are these, these karmics that come into his life that want him because of that, because of his success, because of what he's meant to have, the money he's meant to have, or the fame, the being in the spotlight. They want what he's meant to have. They want to be a part of that. So they're not really loving this man for the right reasons. They're, they they want to be tied to his destiny, his abundance, his good karma, his good luck, his um, powers of manifestation, like what's meant to come into his life. It's almost like these, these karmic, low vibrational, toxic women have some sort of awareness of that. Again, it's not conscious. I don't feel like any of them are actually consciously aware that he's meant to have those things. But I think it's like they have like this leechy kind of psychic vampire energy about them. So it's almost like when they see him, they can sense his energy, his light. Like they just kind of know that he's meant to have this kind of legacy. Um, and we're going to get more into it in a minute. I'm just going to tell you guys what I've channeled so far. I feel like, hold on, let me see. Let's pull some cards on it, actually. Hold on. Let's pull some cards. Queen of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Strength. The Fool. Yeah, there's a mix here of, of following, of being in this this energy this receptive energy following his heart um 
Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving knight, but they're very loyal and they're very stable and grounded. So it might have taken this man a long time to get to this point or it's taking him a long time to get to this point of balancing his energies out of, of being in this stable, grounded energy. It's taken him a lot of strength, but there is a new start here for him. Tell me more about this. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is teamwork, building something together. The star, hope, healing. Ace of Pentacles is a new star. Okay. So yeah, he's meant to have this Ten of Cups. Damn. Okay. Ten of Cups is like, that's, that's true love. That's abundance. That's a lot of good energy. What else? Two of Cups. Okay. So more cards about love. The Ace of Swords, truth and clarity. Okay. So you're either this man that needs this warning that's, you know, you're either the man, you're either the man that needs this warning about protecting yourself, about using your intuition, really using discernment. You're meant to get on a more spiritual path. You need to use your intuition more. It's really important um, to, to balance your energies out, to, um, to meditate, to go out in nature and ground yourself, to develop a spiritual practice, to, um, you have lots of energies around you. So this man has a lot of light about him and light will attract, you know, other, other empathic loving beings, but it will also attract like the moths, the, the lower vibrational entities, the, the it, 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 light attracts a lot. It's like, you know, if you, if someone has this light about them, it's like, everyone can see that both the, the lower beings can see that and the higher beings can see that, you know, same with people. So this man has to really, you know, be more mindful of that. Um, I feel like for some you're watching on this man's behalf and this is your soulmate and you guys are meant to actually have this legacy together. What I'm getting right now with this card, Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity, is that it's being revealed to both of you right now that you are soulmates. One or both of you may have even had doubts about this in the past. Like it may have been hard to see it. There might have been illusion. There might have been like this fog around you guys or this cloudiness. But I feel like with the Ace of Swords, this truth or clarity coming in, I feel like you guys are becoming aware. Like your spirit guides are making sure that you're, um, you're aware of this. I feel like you guys are both either in your psychic power right now or you're coming into that psychic power. Like you guys, like both of your... Um, I always see this light on her on our third eye. So I feel like your th third eye is opening simultaneously while their third eye is also opening. So there's a lot of telepathic communication between the two of you right now. And this is divinely guided. Um, so something I was channeling earlier too is, so I feel like these two soulmates are meant to have this legacy together. There's something really big that they're meant to do together. Now, Again, there's multiple people in this energy group, so please take it as it resonates. It's going to play out differently for everyone. For some, I'm seeing um, this could be like a business establishment. It, it could be a business establishment like you guys are meant to own some kind of company or you're meant to like a startup business or you're meant to own... Uh, some kind of business together, basically. You guys are going to go, it's going to be 50-50. You're both going to be putting the work in equally. You're both going to be each other's support system. You're both going to be bouncing ideas off each other. You're both going to be honest with each other. Like, let's, you know, I, I feel like you guys are going to communicate in a way that's very, um, when you get to that point, at least, I feel like you'll be communicating in a way that's very honest and open but also very assertive at the same time. Like, like I kind of like that idea, but what if we changed it? And I feel like you guys, I'm just seeing a really good energy because it's like, I feel like your creativity and their creativity is just going to mesh really well together. And I feel like you guys are going to be very open-minded when you communicate about these business ideas. So like, let's say that, that, you know, he presents some, an idea that you don't fully like or vice versa, you're going to be able to communicate it in a way where you're both going to understand each other. You're both going to have, um, I just, I just feel like, like very healthy, very open, honest communication, um, and it might not come right away. It might be a process of learning to get to that point where you guys can communicate that way. But I'm just saying, like, once you do have that, 
I just see the way that you guys talk, the way you guys share business ideas. It's like, it's really, you guys are going to balance each other out. Like you might present an idea and he's like, Oh, I like this aspect of that idea, but let's, um, let's change this part of it because I don't, I don't think this is going to work well for the public, or I don't think this is going to work well financially for us. Let's change this part of it. And then he's going to present another idea and you're going to be like, Oh, I like that. Let's do that. Let's add, let's add this to it. It's like, you guys are going to be, do you see, like, do you see what I'm doing with my fingers here? <laughs> you guys are. I always make all these gestures. You guys are probably like, bitch, just keep your hands away from the fucking camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but it's like, it, it's like adding to each other. You know what I mean? It's like, there's, there's, it's like they have an idea. Then you have an idea. You add to their idea. They add to your idea. You guys uh, rework certain ideas so that you both, you know, compromise in it and you both like that same idea. It's like, it's just going to mesh really well together. Like, it's just, you guys are just going to work really well together. I'm getting this power couple energy and I'm really going to, I'm really getting that it's going to be like 50, 50, it's going to be equal. So you might have certain, um, I feel like you're both very creative and you're both. So this soulmate couple is very creative, very passionate. Um, you guys match each other's energy in that way, but I feel like, I feel like there's certain, um, how do I explain it? There's going to be certain, uh, whatever this is, there's certain areas of, certain levels of expertise that you both have. So what's coming to mind is Elton John and his friend. So I, I don't know if this is true. I just saw it on Rocket Man. So I don't know if it's actually true. I know I feel like a dumbass, but and I think it is. I think that is true. I think Elton John never knew what he wanted his music to sound like. But he had the he had the words in his mind like he had or was it maybe it was vice versa. Shit. I know that he, he was, uh, he, ugh, God damn it. He was a partner with someone. And I know one of them was really good at creating the music, creating the beats. And the other one was really good with lyrics, but they never knew what they wanted the song to sound like. So it could be something like that. It's like, you guys both have your own area of expertise and they need that energy to succeed. And you need their energies to succeed. You guys like, do you see how, what I'm saying here? It's like, you guys balance each other out. Um, or it's like there's some area of knowledge where it's like you you know both of these aspects need to come into play to to really be truly successful and it's not saying that this person has to do this with you or you with them it's up to you you guys have free will um you will be more successful to doing this together but i mean if they choose to again they have free will if they choose to go down a different path the universe is going to bring you another man that's going to match that energy and help you succeed with whatever this long-term goal is, whatever it is that you're meant to have. Basically, I'm letting you know what you're destined to have is not going to be lost or taken away if this person ends up going down a different path and vice versa. Um, I do feel like the soulmate couple would be their most successful if they were together. But again, it's like, you know, if you're a singer and you write lyrics, you're, you're going to find someone else that that um is good with music or is good with you know they know what they, this song should sound like and you guys work together that's if this person chooses not to go down the originally destined path and they choose to go off course um so so yeah just letting you guys know that you'll have what you're meant to have either way but i just i really feel like this soulmate couple it's like there's just this beautiful balance there's this, you guys just really working together and creating something as a team. So this is going to play out different ways for some. And I need to bear with me because I do want to get into the warning about the low vibrational third party karmics as well. So for some, like I said, this could be music. This could be art. Um, this could be, for some, it's some kind of business. Like you guys are meant to run some type of, type of business together. For others, I feel like I'm just getting something different. Like it's something very unique for some of you. Like it's a business idea that no one else has. Um, it hasn't manifested. A lot of people have channeled this business idea. Like the divine has brought multiple people this business idea. And I feel like they lost it. Like they took it away from these other people because they didn't bring it into fruition. Like, it's almost like they were blessed with some kind of, I'm seeing like a group of people that were like blessed with the same business idea 
a really creative idea, but none of them made it a reality. And, and so I feel like, you know, the higher ups, the spirit guides, what have you were like, okay, we're going to bring this idea to this other person then. And then that person didn't do anything with it either. They didn't, they didn't take the steps to bring it into physical reality. And so now I feel like this idea is coming to, to you or your person or both of you. Um, you guys have the, the chance to make this manifest. So, cause for some, I, I just feel like it's something like really creative. It's something very unique. Like you might be, um, uh, how do I explain it? Like, it's just something that like, I feel, and this isn't for everyone. Like for, for some, like I said, this is just simply music or art or, um, like being in a band together or doing something musically together or, um, you know, just like owning a, some kind of establishment, some kind of business together, just running it together, like as a team, putting in equal work and that business, that establishment is really going to take off. It's going to be promoted. Um, you guys are going to make a lot of money at a certain point doing that together. It could even be like owning an online shop together. Just take it as it resonates. But, um, But yeah, for some of you, I really feel like it's something just super unique. And I'm trying to like put, I mean, I guess I can't say it out loud. So it makes sense why I'm not like able to channel it. Like, um, cause I can feel the energy. It's just, it's something that like nobody else has done. It's a, like, let's say like a comic book themed uh, cat or dog rescue. And you guys are going to have all these amazing ideas. And it's just going to be this really fun place for people to hang out. Um, there's going to be nothing else like it in, in the neighborhood or in the city. Like, it's just going to be very, very unique is basically what I'm feeling. But again, this is going to take it as it resonates. It's going to apply in different ways to different people. But what I'm feeling, okay, so remember I was channeling the, the karmics? Ugh. Their energy is gross. Yeah, you got to do protection. Pr do protection on yourself. Do protection on your person. Like, just protect. Just put that energy out there of just protecting them. Visualize them in, like, a bubble of light where this karmic is not able to harm them. Um, or this karmic isn't able to, like, stress them out and, and get them off their spiritual path. But... I feel like these third parties are trying to present the illusion. So whatever they're meant to have with you, whatever this this powerful soulmate couple, this power couple, whatever they're meant to have together, whatever they're meant to do together in the world. And for some, I feel like it's charity based. Like this could be like um, opening like a homeless shelter or a cat or dog rescue or it, it's like something that's going to make people really happy. It's something where you guys are really going to be leaving your mark on the world like and I do feel like there will be a lot of money and just a lot of financial success tied to this as well. I feel like some of you already know what this is or like your person, like maybe you both know what this is. Maybe you've both already kind of channeled ideas. Maybe you even have like a notebook where you've written these ideas down um, and you've thought about it. But it's like, I feel like the men in this energy group, like this masculine, I feel like he believes in it, but he doesn't fully... It's like he's he knows that he's meant to do greater things in life, but he he doesn't fully know how to get there or he doesn't fully believe in himself as much as he should. So I think he needs to work on expanding his horizons, opening his mind up, using his intuition, being true to himself, not caring about what anybody else thinks. Um, he needs to be true to himself and he needs to get on his spiritual path because there are going to be jealous haters that are going to try to convince him to stay in that low vibration and keep him trapped and he needs to rise above that he needs to have integrity honesty um assertiveness he really just needs to open his mind and his heart up more and um really be true to his soul to his spiritual side um not let anyone keep him trapped not let anybody keep him stuck or keep him at a low vibration not let anyone um Especially because he's so creative, like people are not going to understand his ideas. They're going to hate, they're going to be jealous, even if they do understand, they're going to, they're, they're not, there's going to be this kind of jealous energy, like this hidden jealous energy from people at times. Um, 
or just people that don't have the emotional depth and the same level of passion and creativity that he has. And so they might think that they're giving him good advice by like discouraging him from following his dreams, but it's like, they don't really, they don't understand him fully. They're not, they're not on his wavelength. They're not on that same vibration that he's on. So he needs to stop listening to people that don't fully you know get him he needs to get he needs to listen to his spirit guides to his soul he needs to get into alignment with his soul and his higher self if he wants the life that he wants if he like if he wants if he really wants this life that he's trying to manifest he's going to have to let go of the the negative opinions or the um caring so much about what people think because a lot of times with things like this, it is a trial and error process. Like this might even be one of those things where it's like you guys are meant to have like that, um, that, you know, I, I don't know why I'm getting like comic, but like cat, cat, cat rescue comic book store, like probably not that specific thing. But that was just like an example, something of that sort that's going to make people happy and bring people together. Um, but it might be one of those like trial and error things. It might be one of those things where he opens up a business or you guys open that business together and it doesn't work at first and you have to close that business down and then you have to work and you got to save money and you got to build back up and then you find a better location. That's the one that's successful. That's the one that that you guys run together for the rest of your lives, possibly, you know, but if he's so worried about what society thinks and so worried about what people think, he's going to stop after after that first if he lets his pride and ego get in the way, it's like he's going to stop after that first um, business goes under. You know what I mean? He's going to be like, oh, well, that didn't work out. I don't want to be humiliated again. It's like, don't worry about your image. Worry about your path. Worry about your spiritual path, about what you're meant to do, who you're meant to be. Stop worrying so much about other people's opinions. You know, let them think whatever they want to think. Who gives a shit? But... um, Anyway, where was I going with that? I started, I started channeling and I rambled. Oh my God. So I feel like, so for this soulmate couple that's meant to have this together, you got the fool, you got the three of pentacles here, building this together, teamwork, 50-50, mutual give and take, balancing ideas off each other. Your creativity, I'm, I just keep getting like your creativity and their creativity, it's just going to mesh. It's just going to work. Even if there's certain areas that you lack in, they're going to they're gonna be abundant in those areas. Does that make sense? It's like you guys are just going to really balance each other out in a really good way. Um, I am getting this energy of these third-party karmics, though, trying to create the illusion that they're meant to have this with this person, that they can have this with this person instead. They're trying to take this divine feminine's place, not just romantically, but also, you know, business wise with what they're meant to do together with what they're meant to have together. These toxic low vibrational karmics are trying to take everything that's actually destined for this divine feminine for this soulmate couple. Um, and I, I feel like this man is going to see through it because I think he's also going to re realize that like with, with the low vibrational karmics, they might appear creative, but it's like they're, I don't know how to explain this energy, but it's almost like I'm getting that their creativity is an illusion. Like there's not, um, how do I even explain this? How do I explain this? How do I explain this cards? Tell me. Three of swords. Yeah. Heartbreak. Page of pentacles. Yeah, six of pentacles and the Son of cups so six of pentacles can be about um it can be about charity and generosity but it's almost like seven of cups is illusion this these karmics don't have as much to give as they're trying to again they're trying to what we got in that third party reading the other day it's like they're trying to mimic the the true divine feminine energy the true divine feminine essence and i feel like these men are highly intuitive they're highly intelligent and they're starting to see through it they're starting to be like, no, this bitch is crazy. This bitch is insecure. This is not a real woman. This is not someone that I could be a power couple with. This is not someone, there might've been that illusion in the past of them being, being able to have that with this person. But now they're like, no, like she's not, she is not strong enough. She's not, um, she doesn't have enough integrity. She doesn't, she's not true to herself. She can't have this with me. She can't come with me on this, this these karmics, these low vibrational, toxic, insecure and narcissistic karmics she's you know they're these men are like no like this person cannot come with me on this spiritual path they're 
they're they're not going to meet me at that level. They don't. They're starting to see through them. They're starting to see the truth. They're starting to really open their third eye. So not only are they seeing the truth about these toxic karmics, but they're also seeing the truth about you. You guys both are, like I said, you're both recognizing that this is a, a soulmate relationship. This is a past life relationship. There is something very deep, very real here. You guys are starting to look past the physical. You're starting to look past the drama and the blocks. You're starting to see through that. And it's like you're seeing their soul and they're seeing your soul. You're seeing the true connection underneath all of it here. Both of you are. So how do I explain what I, what I mean when I say that this, their creativity is an illusion? Um, the karmics creativity, the, the lower vibrational third parties, the karmics, their, their, their creativity is an illusion. Um, what do I even... How do I word this? So like they might be really artistic or creative in certain ways, but whatever this business idea that you guys are meant to do together, they're not at that. They're not creative in that way. So um, let's say it's like music, like having a band together. So this, this low vibrational karmic might be really artistic in other ways, but when it comes to music, she doesn't have an ear for music. She doesn't like, like she can't sing or she can't write lyrics or she can't um she can't like match beats or she can't something like that it's like there, there's something off or um let's say it's like you guys are meant to do like charity work together like you're meant to have um like a like an animal rescue or help the homeless or you're meant to do something really big in the world it's like this these karmics are really um giving Maybe when it comes to uh, like maybe they're giving in certain aspects of their life, but they don't know how to help the homeless or like they're not giving in that aspect. Like it's not something they're familiar with. Um, like it's like like maybe it's like this illusion energy, like maybe like let's say this person's like this karmic, this third party is like super because I'm getting different stories here. So just, you know, take the ones there's mo there's a lot of different people watching. It's the same energy group, but there are different variations of this story. It's like the same storyline, but there's, you know, a few different ways that this could go for you guys. But let's say because I am getting like helping the homeless for some of you. Um, So it could be like one of those situations where it's like this karmic is really caring in other aspects of her life like she helps her family maybe she takes care of like her sick parents or something like that but like she's grossed out by homeless people or something you know like she doesn't care about the homeless or it's not like it, it's it's there's just like a mismatch and he's really determined to help the homeless that's one of his goals in life and that's one of your goals in life and so you guys come together and it's like you do that together you have that the same spiritual mission together, the same destiny, your destinies align. So th that's just, that's what I mean when I say that her, the karmic's creativity is an illusion. It's like, she's creative in certain ways, but whatever this thing is that this soulmate power couple is meant to do together, she's, she's not at that level. She's not going to add to, she's, she's not going to be able to do that with him. She's, she's not, it's either something that she doesn't want or if it's something that she does want, she's just not, she doesn't have natural talent there or she doesn't have a natural skill set there. Like, like it's not like her genuine destined path, if that makes sense. It's something that she's trying to force, possibly to impress him even. It could be something she's trying to force to like, um, maybe to, to kind of, again, to kind of fool him into thinking that she's this other soulmate that he actually is meant to have this with for some. Uh, yeah, but take it as it resonates, however that plays out for you. Or I feel like if she does want it, she wants it for the wrong reasons. Like she wants it for very shallow reasons. Um, like, let's say, like, you know, like the band example, let's say you guys are meant to start a band together. Um, this soul, this divine soulmate couple, let's say they're meant to start a band together. This karmic doesn't want it because she genuinely loves music or she genuinely loves singing or she genuinely just loves inspiring people. She doesn't have that passion for inspiring people. She wants it because she wants the attention because she's a psychic vampire and she cannot handle not being the center of attention. So she likes the attention it gets her. She likes being cutesy and, and fake and having all eyes on her and so she wants to be up on that stage just because she wants to be the center of attention but she's not there for the music she's not passionate about what she's singing about she's not 
she she doesn't it's like she's not there for the right reasons where it's like the two of you this divine soulmate couple you guys both are genuinely there for the music for for leaving your mark on the world for inspiring other people you're there for the right reasons you're both and it's not saying that you can't like enjoy you know being in the spotlight but when i'm saying for these karmics it's like that's like their primary motivation they're like oh like i could i could have all that money i could have like people would love me um it would be an ego boost for me you know what i mean it's like that's like their main focus whereas with you guys it's like the main focus is the music the the impact that you guys have on people you guys are both very empathic and whatever you're destined to do together, it, it's connected to your empathy, to your light. I also feel like she'd be taking more than, than she would be giving to him. So like I said, for you two, I feel like for the soulmate couple, this would be 50-50. Um, you're both very genuine. But I, I feel like with her, I feel like she wouldn't be giving nearly as much. She wouldn't be contributing as much. So I almost feel it's really strange, like the energy I was channeling. It's almost like I feel like these and I feel kind of bad for this man. Like, I hate saying this because I'm like, you know, he might already have trust issues, but he does have to be careful. And again, there there are people around him. There really are people around him that genuinely love him. They don't care about his his status or what he's meant to have in the future. They don't care about any of that. They're genuinely there because they want to support him and they, they know that he's a good man. So don't shut everybody out. Like there are a lot of people in this man's life that he can trust that do genuinely have his back. But I'm just getting like with these like low vibrational kind of karmics, these third parties, it's like I almost see like their family, like their ancestors pushing them towards this man. Um, because again, he has free will. He doesn't have to have this destiny with his soulmate. He doesn't have to have this, this business empire, this legacy. He doesn't have to have it with his soulmate. He could have it with one of these karmics, but he's not going to be very successful. And he's going to be giving way more than what he's getting back from them. It's going to be mostly him by himself. And there's going to be some little low vibrational, insecure karmic taking um, taking advantage of him and, and almost taking credit for his work. But I feel like it's like she would be connected to that. Like if they got married or something, it's like she would be connected to this legacy. So she would have that inheritance to pass on to her children if she had children or to... Um, it's like they're after... It's like these gold diggers. I'm like, Jesus. Um, I shouldn't laugh at that, but but... But it's, it's like, I just feel like they're, it, it's like some of them have very toxic soul groups. Like they, they have almost like succubuses or like very low vibrational soul groups. And their soul group is like, Hey, like go after that man. You see that man, he's meant to be a millionaire in five years, or he's going to own this business in five years, or he's meant to be a, a famous musician, or he's meant to be a famous artist or a famous writer or something like that. And, and like, I, I see these like low vibrational karmics and it's like their entire toxic soul group is like pushing this, these toxic women towards this man, like go after that, go get that. Cause once, you know, cause he's going to have be able to have anybody he wants. Once he gets to that point, go get him now, go, go, go convince him, go, go manipulate him into thinking that you have this divine feminine energy so that he goes off his destined path. So he, he sidetracks from his spiritual path and he, he chooses you for this role instead. And then you get that money if, if you guys get married and then we get, you know, that generational wealth, like, you know, that toxic soul group gets tied to that instead of this divine feminine soul group, you know, um, I hope that made sense. Does that make sense to you guys? I know I, I talk in a weird way sometimes. I know I'm sorry, <laughs> but, um, I'm, yeah, I'm also just getting this message that like these karmics would not put in the same work that the masculine is, is, is putting in so I feel like there's two different storylines I'm getting here for this actually I'm feeling for some these karmics actually want to steal this masculine's business idea like they would backstab him somehow they would betray him somehow they would get to the point it's like they would they would allow him to do most of the work and then they would take his idea and they would run with it so like let's say it's writing a book it's like they're going to write that book together and then when the book is almost finished, she takes it and she publishes it and she tells, you know, the publishing company like, oh, I wrote all of this. He wasn't involved with it. 
Like, I feel like he would really be betrayed by this karmic. Or it's like, um, like they write songs together or something. And then like, it's mostly him writing the songs because she has no musical talent of her own. But then she takes what he's written and she acts like she's the one that wrote that song. Um, or she steals his art pieces or it's like she's going to steal some kind of business idea that he has and she's going to make it seem because she's very narcissistic. She's very insecure and very narcissistic or this, this most of them are, I, I keep getting that energy of like of insecurity and narcissism. Um, so I just get this vibe of her like taking credit for his hard work. I honestly feel like he would be successful on his own, though. I don't feel like I think it's one of those things where it's like either she would steal his ideas or she would steal something from him and make people believe it was her idea and she would go into business. But I think her business would fail because she wouldn't know what she was doing. She doesn't have the intelligence and the creativity that this man has. So I think that it would just she would just make a fool of herself if she tried to steal this from him. But I think that she would try to steal it from him anyway. Um for others, I feel like she would stay with him. But again, it's like staying with him for the wrong reasons. It's not genuine love. It's like she wants. It's like she's aware on a on a psychic level. She's aware of this man's destiny, of his legacy, of the path that he's of what he's meant to have, of what he's meant to manifest. And she wants some of that. Um, hmm. Yeah, this energy is crazy. So I, f I feel like, because I, I just keep seeing like these conversations, it's like these very creative conversations and it's so drastically different. Like this soulmate power couple, the, the conversations, the open, honest conversations they could have balancing these creative ideas off each other, mutual give and take, um, both taking accountability, both being honest, both being, you know both coming together as a team and working together to build this legacy together. I think that would be just, it, it's incredibly powerful. They would do a lot together, but I see if he goes down this lower karmic path, I'm getting like, yeah, he's going to have these same conversations with that karmic, but I'm getting like, it's going to be, he's giving 80% and she's giving 20%. Like, and I, I keep getting this really gross pouty energy but she thinks it's cute and I'm it's like it's not cute it's not cute it's not fucking cute it's gross it's gross oh my god because I keep seeing like this facial expression like she does and like she tries to be super cute but it's like it's so manipulative oh my god anyway anyway refocusing um <laughs> Yeah, I, I see them having these conversations, but it's like he's giving everything. You know what I mean? She's like, like maybe he's like playing guitar or something and, and he's writing most of the lyrics and she's just kind of hanging out and she's like, oh, that sounds good. That sounds cool. <laughs> change that word. Change that one line in that word up. Like she's like, she's not doing shit. Like she's not doing much, but she's gonna, she's gonna go. Like it's gonna be mostly him like writing, you know, again, there's different storylines here. However, this plays out for you, whether it's music, art, uh, running a business, opening a business together a corporation just take it as it resonates but I just I see for someone it's music and I just I just see him like like playing guitar and she's sitting and she's hanging out and she's doing her own thing and she's like not contributing at all she's like giving him like just basic common sense advice he's like does this line of the song sound good and she's like sure like like she's not involved in the process as much as he would want her to be but but the bitch is gonna like go go to her friends the next day and be like oh we wrote a song together and I I I helped so much we wrote this together like I gave him all this advice this man's gonna be like dude what like you were mostly just hanging out with me while I was writing the song you didn't write the song with me like what the fuck are you doing taking half the credit for this song you just sat there and like you know, we're working on something else or, or playing on your phone and you just, you were kind of just there. You didn't really help me with this. Um, but she's so like, in, like insecure, but also cocky that she's still going to take credit for it. She's still going to act like she was involved in making that song with him. 
is what I'm kidding. Like she's still going to, she's, and she might not say it in front of him because she might know damn well that she didn't help him write that song. But I feel like she's going to go to her, all her friends and just talk herself up. Like she's this creative genius when it's, it's not, she doesn't, she's not that creative, not in this regard, at least whatever this, this thing is, she's not creative in that aspect, at least. But she's going to go to her friends, possibly behind his back, and and brag about how she wrote this song with him. <laughs> and about how she's just, she's going places when she doesn't have any real talent. It's his talent that she's leeching off of. Um, ugh, it's such gross energy. Oh my god. It's such gross energy. I don't think he knows about this. This is for someone like, I don't think this man knows about this. I think she actually told her friends, this isn't for everybody, but for some, she told him that she wrote a song with him or she told him that like, like, I, cause I'm seeing this man like play guitar. Or he's doing something like musically. And she's like, she's like, oh, I helped so much. Like we're doing it together. But she knows that she's not talented, at least in that regard. So she's piggybacking off of his talent. Um, I'm also seeing when they have these like discussions and whatnot, it's like it's it's going to be like arguments or it's going to be like they're not going to see eye to eye. And he's going to start realizing that she's not as creative as he believed her to be. Um, or it's like her ideas are like stupid or something. I don't know. It's going to be like there's going to be like red flags there when they when they try to if he tries to go into business with her or tries to have that legacy with this woman, there's going to be so many red flags. It's not just like one or two, like everyone has like arguments or miscommunication here and there. That's normal. But it's going to be like in his face. It's going to be like she has one I bad idea after the other. It's like every time they get together to talk about this business, she has another bad idea, another bad idea, another bad idea, another argument um another day of her just being lazy and just leashing off of his work and him putting most of the effort in um and then another argument and then another bad idea that she comes up with that she's cocky enough to think is is some amazing creative idea when it's just very fucking average it's that kind of shit <sighs> it's not cash money energy at all <laughs> So I almost feel like if he did try to do this with this woman, eventually he would just kind of be doing it alone, to be honest. It would more be, um, like, I think, like, he would still be the famous musician that he's meant to be or the famous artist or author or business owner or whatever it is that he's meant to do and be and have. Like, he would still have that, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't be the same as it would be with a soulmate. I almost feel like, like, let's say he's in a band. It's like, he'll be up on stage, but she's not going to, this, this third party karmic wouldn't end up being on stage with him. Whereas with the soulmate, I think she would have the musical talent to be on stage with him. They would be doing it together as a team, 50, 50 with this karmic though. I feel like she would just, again, bad ideas, laziness, hanging out with him while he writes the songs. She'd probably go on tour with him and she'd be one of his little groupies in the audience and she would support him and she would promote his business and promote his music for him. Um, cause I'm seeing her like doing some kind of like promotion or something or like getting people together, like, Oh, come see my boyfriend's band or come see my husband's band. But she would be in the audience. That's the difference. Um, she would be in the audience at, at a certain point because I think he would just get annoyed with her and just be like, you know what, just just stay in the fucking audience. Just never mind. I had this whole dream and this whole vision of us doing this together. But you know what, bitch, just just stay in the audience. Just just sit there and look pretty like I think he would just be so annoyed with her at a certain point. Like he would recognize that she doesn't have the drive, the passion, the creativity, the talent that he hoped that she would have. Um because but again, I still see her helping him somehow, like she would promote for him. She would bring people together to watch his band. Um, and she would take a lot of the credit, though. That's the fucked up thing is like she would be giving 20 percent. He'd be giving 80 percent, but she would be financially taking a lot of his money um, and also just taking the credit and being like, oh, I helped him write all those songs and. I'm, he wouldn't be able to promote and get everyone together without me. Like I'm such, I'm the backbone of, of this, this team. And, and she's, she ain't shit. It's like that kind of energy I'm getting. Uh, but again, I think eventually he would give up on having that dream with her. Eventually he would just be like, fuck, 
Like, I could have had this with my true love, with my soulmate, and I chose this crazy-ass bitch instead. And eventually, like I said, he's just going to be like, just just hang out in the audience and help me promote. Just don't worry about being on stage with me. Let's just not. Just just whatever. <laughs> um, again, she's going to be taking all the credit. She's going to be taking his money. She's going to be using him to be in the spotlight, using his his image, his success for the wrong reasons. Um or if it's like an author, like writing a book, eventually he's just going to be like, bitch, just don't even help me write the book. I'll just write it by myself. Never mind. <laughs> like, never mind. <sighs> that dream failed. Like, just whatever. Just sure, we'll be together and I'll, I'll do most of the work and you can kind of be my arm candy. You can kind of be on the side and help me with this in certain ways. But but again, it's not a power couple because it's it's mostly him being in power and her just, again, giving that little tiny bit that helps him, that gives him a little boost, maybe a little bit of an ego boost, um, as opposed to this energy with his actual soulmate where they're, they're, it's mutual give and take, mutual creativity, doing this together as a team, open, honest, healthy communication with each other, like an actual power couple, as opposed to this insecure little piece of arm candy over here in ain't shit. I don't know why I'm, why I'm saying over here because that's actually not what this card means. I'm <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so there's a warning there for that man. There is a warning there for that man that she's just going to take. She is, she is going to... I feel like she's going to take a lot of money from him too. I feel like financially she's going to expect a lot. Like if he's making a lot of money, she's going to want a lot of that money. She's going to want a lot of that success. She's going to want to It's like it's remind me of that that fucking that bumper sticker where um have you guys ever seen that like meme on Facebook? It's that bumper sticker where it says you will refer to me by my husband's rank. I think it is. And it's it's like no, like that's your husband's rank. That's not your rank. You're part of you're part of yeah, you're you're a team to a degree, but he is the one that went to the military, not you. You didn't go into the military with him. You weren't there. You weren't fighting a war with him. Like that like you don't it it's just it's such a it's such a frustrating energy when I channel these karmics because it's like they want credit for something that they did not do. They want the fame, they want the money, they want the success, they want all of it for the wrong reasons though. And they don't, they don't want to put the work in. They don't want to actually put the effort and work into have into, into really owning it. You know what I mean? Like they don't, it's, it's, it's just a gross energy. Um, like, I just feel like this group of karmics are so focused. They're so they're, they, they, they just prioritize the attention, the fame, the money, um, cause I'm seeing like, there's one of you, someone in this energy group, I swear your person's like in a fucking band. Cause I keep seeing it. I keep seeing it. I see this man on stage. Um, and I think he's like playing guitar or singing or doing something. And it's like, there's this like karmic, this, this really, you know, cutesy fake little wannabe princess in the crowd jumping up and down and trying to be super cute. And she's like, you know, like maybe like filming him for like social media or she's like promoting him and, and getting people to come to see his band. But he's like he's he looks unhappy. Like I'm seeing his face. He doesn't she looks super happy and bubbly because she's she's loving the attention. She loves to be able to tell people, oh, that's my boyfriend in the band. Like, oh, I helped him write this song or I did this and I did this and that. Like, oh, that's guess. Guess who my boyfriend is. Guess who my husband is like she loves telling people that. But I'm seeing his face and he looks fucking sad because he's looking out in the crowd and he's like, oh, fuck, like the, this is all I got. <laughs> like, I I should have gone with this. I should have gone with the girl that would be up on that stage with me, that would have put all the work and effort with me, would be promoting our band together as a team like ultimate power couple energy over here. Like he's going to be looking at this karmic and be like, fuck, I wish I would have left her when I had the chance. And now I'm, I feel stuck with her and now I don't know how to get out of this. Um, like, cause he's, he's meant, he might succeed sooner than he, he expects. Like he, his, whatever this is, this business, this, these ideas, this might take off sooner than he's expecting it to. But yeah, he has a choice to make between going down this karmic path 
or going down this this higher vibrational path but if he wants this with his soulmate if he wants this this true power couple union um he's gonna have to let go of the fear of other people's opinions he's gonna have to let go of the fake bullshit the inner the fake energy he's gonna have to let go of what's holding him back he's gonna have to let go of the karmics He's going to have to be open and honest and have integrity and really face himself and, and figure out what he needs to do to evolve to that level. He's going to need to get in on his spiritual path, listen to his intuition, listen to his spirit guides, protect himself from these lower vibrational karmic energies. Um, really just he has a very big heart, but I feel like this man is like not connected enough to his heart. It's like he's very sensitive, very emotional, romantic, idealistic, very passionate. And that is that energy that's going to make him succeed in life will make him succeed with this goal. Because like I said, whatever this goal is, it's like it has to do like empathy, I think is connected to it, leaving an impact on society on humanity is it, it, connected to it. So he can't be out of touch with his true self and out of touch with his soul and out of touch with his heart and still have all that success. You know what I mean? Like he needs to embrace that, that loving, warm, um, that, that empathetic side of him. He needs to embrace those energies because that passion, that emotion is what's going to make him successful. That passion, that emotion is what's going to give him those, have those lyrics come to him to write those songs. It's, it's what's going to fuel him. Um, he needs to get back in touch with his emotional side with his, it's like his spirit is trying to come through, um, and integrate with him. It's like his higher self is trying to come through and he's been pushing his higher self away, but it's time for him to, if he wants success, at least he's going to need to really get in touch with his higher self and, and really follow his heart and his intuition more. Um, anyway, yeah, I do see for you guys too. I feel like you guys are well, I think I've said everything, actually. I don't need to repeat myself. <laughs> I see a lot of healing, too. That's one thing I forgot to mention is I see a lot of Three of Pentacles and then the star is about healing. And then it's like it's almost like you guys are going to be building something together, but it's going to be very healing for both of you. So not only are you helping other people heal or giving them some kind of happiness in their life by bringing this into fruition, these creative ideas, bringing them into the world, but you're... Um, you're also going to be helping, like you guys are going to be healing each other through this. Like whatever this is, it's going to be healing for both of you guys. It's going to be, it might be something very fun and very creative. And it's like, there's just this healing energy. Like when you two are together, it's almost like there's just like this magic. There's like this high vibrational, just magical energy that's going to happen when the two of you are together. That's going to be very healing for both of you. Um, this is true love. I mean, if this man decides to go off on this path, like... This is true love. He's going to need to make a decision sooner or later, though, because like I said, both these people are meant for these things. Both these people have similar destinies. You know what I mean? Like you're both meant for music or you're both meant to have the same type of business or you both have like similar business ideas. So if this man doesn't get his shit together, your spirit guides are going to bring in another man that is going to be that power couple with you. So he's going to need to decide sooner or later, does he want to go down the karmic path or does he want to be in this soulmate connection? Does he want true love and abundance and money with the right person? Like he needs to decide what he's going to do. Um, and like I said, there's no right or wrong answers. It's it's like, like I said, this, this is destined for both of you, regardless of who you're with. Um, but it's just going to play out differently depending on who you're with. It's going to be more successful and you guys are going to be a lot happier if you're together doing this together. Um, and again, I feel like, you know, he might be doing it alone if he goes with the karmic, because again, at a certain point, he's going to get annoyed with her and not even want her to be part of that. Or she's just going to be kind of on the sidelines instead of up on that stage with him. Um, could be the same for you even like you might be up on that stage, but you're by yourself too. And this, this new man that comes in ends up kind of being on the sidelines too, but you, you still have the, you're still, you know, putting your music out there. You're still doing what you're meant to do. Um, yeah. So I hope that resonates. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Uh, let me think, was there any other messages? Yeah. <laughs> 
I was saying that Billie Eilish song, like I kept like channeling that fucking song and I watched it and I think it was connected to this message as well. It was that song Billie Eilish, by Billie Eilish, there, uh, Therefore I Am, like I think, therefore I am. And I feel like the message, so I think part of the message was what I was watching in the music video was her, and I like Billie Eilish, don't get me wrong, I like her, I like, the, I like that music video, but... I was channeling actually like a toxic energy. So for some, the karmic could be really hardcore into Billie Eilish. That could be a message actually specifically tied to Billie Eilish somehow. But for others, I feel like it's, um, it was just more like the metaphor. Like it was, um, so it's like she was, you know, stealing food from like the food court. Like she was going behind when there was like no one there and stealing this food. So I think it was kind of like just what we already talked about, just a representation of these karmics just taking and taking and taking. They're taking the credit. They're taking his money. They're, they're, they want the attention. They're, you know, it's, it's like, I think that's what it was trying to tell me. And I was drawn to the lyrics too, the specific lyrics of I'm not your friend or any, what, what are the lyrics? Um, I'm not your friend or anything. Damn, you think that you're the man. I think therefore I am. So I, I feel like it's kind of saying like these, these karmics are going to try to play him. Some of them straight up want to be trophy wives and they're actually presenting, they're trying to present themselves to him as powerful women until they get that commitment from him. And then they're going to show what an insecure piece of shit they are. Like some of them want to be trophy wives. They want to be arm candy they want money and attention. They don't want to have to work. They don't want to have to, um, they don't have their own, um, passion, their, their own creativity They're, They don't, it, it's like they're presenting this illusion. They're trying to get him hooked just enough so that they can have that, what he's meant to have his legacy. Um, I do want to say for the, these men too, like, again, make sure you're protecting yourself, make sure you're using discernment, getting on a spiritual path, using your intuition, but also be more aware of what you're meant to have, because some of you are manifesting your very, you're like, you have like the magician kind of energy, you're very powerful manifestors. And so you are, you have, you've channeled what you're meant to do and have in this life. I think you're already aware of it for most of you. Um, but I think that some of you are going to be shocked when this comes in and you're going to really want to make sure that you have the right people around you when this comes in, because for some, I'm getting like within five to six years for a lot of you, but for some, this is like coming like the next year or two, like this is coming sooner than you would expect for some of you. Um, or like the beginning stages, if this is like a new business you're wanting to have, like this could be like you start you start putting that into fruition, like you, or you start like physically manifesting that this year, you start like talking to people about your business ideas this year. It's something like that where, cause I'm just getting this feeling of like shock, like you're, you're manifesting these things and you feel like you're, you have a greater purpose. You feel like you have a destiny, but it's like some part of you doesn't believe in it. Some part of you still thinks it's just in your head and you need to get past those insecurities and those fears and get past those blocks if you want this. But I'm, I'm just getting because I, I like I said, I feel like this energy of like shock. Some of you, this is going to come in. You put all the energy into manifesting this and it's going to come in out of nowhere. Things are going to fall into place very, you know, relatively quickly. And if you have these little toxic third party leeches around you, they're going to just take, take, take. They're going it, to it, it's going to fuck with it. It's going to fuck with the energy. For some, I feel like your spirit guides are actually, you've already manifested it. Like you've already put all the energy into manifesting whatever this is, but your spirit guides are not allowing it to come in yet because you have toxic third parties around you that would take it from you. So for some, it's already yours. Like there's, there's nothing for some of you, for some of you, there's nothing else you need to do to manifest it. You've already put all that energy and intention the meditation, the, the vision board, the rituals, whatever it is, you've already put all that energy into manifesting it. And for some of the men in this group, like you're, you keep doing that. You keep, you keep like, you've done it for like months or years and you're like, I'm going to, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to visualize it. And you don't understand that it's already meant to happen. It's already, you already put enough energy into it to, to bring it into the physical world. The issue is your spirit guides are not bringing it in yet because you have this, these little toxic third party karmics around you, you know, like they're not going to give you that, that hundred thousand dollar check. If you have some, you know, 
leechy little third party girlfriend that is going to expect you to spend all that money on her or ask you for, you know, play on your empathy and ask you to give her a down payment on a house. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to give you that abundance just to have you waste it on one of these karmics um, or like fame or success. It's like you've already put the energy and like you could, you know, your band is ready or you're you're ready for whatever this is that you're manifesting. You're 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 ready or you're just about ready. But you got to get rid of these people that are going to try to hold you back from it or they're going to try to take that abundance from you or they're going to try to put their name on it. This is this is always destined for you. Like this was destined for you since childhood. And your spirit guides do not want these stupid little karmics to put their name on your legacy. They don't want these karmics going around saying they wrote that song, that that best-selling song with you. They want you to take the credit for that. So so you need to be mindful uh, there, there might be reasons why you're not manifesting that you haven't thought of it. You are a powerful manifester. So it has nothing to do with your, your life. You have the ability to manifest whatever you want. So it has nothing to do with the, um, it, it's not an inability to, to manifest. It really isn't. Like when you put a lot of intention and meditation and energy I don't think these men understand this. Like when they put a lot of intention and meditation and energy into like someone calling them or reaching out, like that person can feel it. That person can telepathically feel it. They can feel that pull. They might hold themselves back because they're like, no, I don't want to reach out because I don't want to get rejected. You know, like I don't want to feel rejected, so I'm not going to reach out. But that person can feel that pull to reach out to you, you know, like because I'm just feeling like you guys can manifest whatever you want. You guys do have that manifestation ability, but it, but again, be mindful of your, your environment. Okay, I'm going to put this out. I'm going to stop blabbing. I'm going to put this out. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the support. I will try to make these shorter. These keep being so long. I keep wanting to come on here and give like a short 20-minute reading, and it's just not a thing, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, thanks.